Aman is a driving instructor and this is going to be a driving test, a real driving test, a mock driving test around a real driving test route at Yedding Driving Test Centre. Check it out if you want to pass your driving test the way a driving instructor would. <laughs> I'm just going to adjust my seat. Just stupid sat now. Piece of than that? rubbish. Oh, this isn't in the way, is it? You need uh, me to get this out of the way? We will be on, but then we can get Starbucks to sponsor us and give us free coffee or not just. Ah! Oh, it does it like that. Oh. Oh, Points for the Mercedes tried. new version? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? yeah, definitely. All right. <laughs> Oh wow, you started well after me. You're on 733416. What have you got? Four. Four. Making me feel young. Yeah. <laughs> You're actually younger than me though, so. Yeah. yeah. How old are you if you don't mind me asking? I do mind. Guess, actually. I'll tell you after you guess. Uh, I don't mind. I don't want to be offensive because I'm, I'm just thinking you're older than me. So, like, what, 50? <gasps> <laughs> Oh, no, sorry. Just gonna have a little cry over here 40, by, my, by myself. 40, 2, 3. Serious? I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. These are all fake. No, <laughs> they're not. It's, I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm messing with you. <sighs> to make me feel better, what I need you to do, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Watch the rest of watch this. Watch the rest of this and see me get mugged off. Okay, so I will be showing you guys exactly how you should be driving in the driving test and the best ways of keeping yourself alert so that you don't start waffling or making any mistake like uh, somebody. Do you uh, want Mister? to? Yes? Hey, you are both? Huh? The camera, yeah, GoPros. Why? Why? Videoing. Driving lessons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Check it out on YouTube. <laughs> Cool. He's just like, whoa, <laughs> why so many cameras? That is definitely going in the video as well. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is great. Let's just sit here and see who else pulls up. <laughs> just chill out. Intro. Yes. Intro? Yep. Do you want to do an intro? Um, Say what is up, guys, like a really excited child. <laughs> what is up, guys? <laughs> I am here with a man from Clearview Driving School. She's come to see us today to do a mock test. Yeah. Well, actually, I've come to see you, haven't I? Yes. Yeah. I've got no idea where I am. Something called Reading, Yedding, Yedding, Reading, <laughs> Leading. I don't know. So we're somewhere up in North West London. We're in West. We're in West, West London. Okay. Have Any questions? Good. Comments? Wanna switch the engine off and give up? I'm good. You wanna I'm get good. a driving Let's license do today? This. Okay. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on. Not because I don't trust your driving. <laughs> okay. So. You no, know, that's my standard joke on driving lessons, right? When you're ready. Mm -hmm. Drive on and follow the sat nav. Okay, well, I'm in a bit of an awkward position because I've got that bend in front. And the handbrake's over here, and I think it's already off. Doing my six point check, starting from the left, finishing on the right. Okay, and I'm going to slowly move away from the pavement, focusing on that bend in front. Super close slowly to that, this Jeez, that was. My heart was racing right there. Really? Yeah. Oh, I need to get used to the biting point in this car. Ah, it's a petrol as well. So your yeah. car's diesel, isn't it? It's yeah. really nice to drive that diesel engine. Oh. And that's what I mean about the sloppy suspension and it's really low oh down. Oh my God. Yeah, this is going to be an eye-opener for you, Aman. And you're going to think twice about upgrading your car to Mercedes. Oh my God. Okay, so I can see here that I'm going to be doing a left turn and then a straight After at that roundabout. Yards, turn left, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Yeah, so, great. starting with mirrors, signal, braking, position's already on the left. And I'm going to use first gear because it's uphill and observation to the right. Now, Did I've you not think that was a good enough gap for you to go in there? No, I didn't want to take it. Don't want to rush into it because I've got the roundabout immediately. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Because I'm afraid of stalling your car more than anything, nice actually. Nice clutch control on that hill start, <laughs> really nice. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Oh, a little bit close to that vehicle in front there, man. Yeah. Happy with that? <laughs> what if he slips off the clutch and rolls back into us? No, true. Doesn't matter because it's my car, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Francis will be savage with me now. Because you were so mean to me <laughs> on your driving test. Oh, God, I did not think that one through, did I? Oh, my God, oh, 
still would have taken that. That was really, really close. <laughs> You're doubting yourself now. I am. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take it. I'm going for it. That was pretty close to the, close van, to the though, van, right? Yeah, it was pretty close. <laughs> I bet that's going to be a comment on the channel. Comment below, guys. Was it close? Was it not? I know. I, I should have let him go forward a bit more, but I could see he had space in front to carry on. And because you're an experienced driver, you might take stuff like that. But would you have done that if you were on a driving test, let's say, for a Don't take the risk. You'd rather license. wait that little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But we're having fun with it, right? It's a <laughs> YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> After 200 yards, turn right. 200 yards right. Okay, cool. Because it's 30 miles an hour, is that what's pushing your speed up now? Yeah, but I'm bringing it back down for the Because I reckon if I was on a driving tighter. test, I'd probably be going a bit slower on this road. Stuff jumps out. Are you slower if you, the slower you drive, right? Yeah, it's just with all the parked cars there, you don't really want to push for 30. So I was about 23 there, I think, 24 okay, at most. Okay, cool. But when that Shot bus fast. came in, I know. I think it's just because this car just feels a bit faster than the other one. It's petrol. So yeah. a petrol engine is going to be quicker than a diesel. Yeah. It's more revvy. I think it's more fun to drive a petrol. But if you're thinking about which one to get, a petrol engine does drink a lot more fuel than a diesel, so you'll pay a lot more for, mm. for fuel. But the annoying thing about petrols for new drivers is um, you're more likely to cut off the engine if you don't m press the accelerator when trying to move off, really. Yeah, if you don't set off with gas and you're trying to set off quickly, the engine's just going to say, nah, I can't deal with that mm. and conk out. And that's what my biggest concern is so far. I don't want to stall your car. Is it a problem to stall on a driving test? Are you no. going to fail for that? No, no, definitely not, but it doesn't look great. Especially from me <laughs> being a driving instructor, I don't really want to stall. And you've been a driving instructor for what, 11 years now? Uh, nearly 10, yeah. Nearly 10 years, that's a long time. Still enjoying it? Yeah, definitely. Love what you do. Definitely, it's great, isn't definitely. it? I would probably wouldn't do anything else, and especially with the added bonus of YouTube. It's pretty it's much great. a dream. Well, I'm going to use my mirrors and move towards the right, and I have to go over the center line here. And I'm trying to leave. Um, about a meter space or so from the left hand side and as the road ahead's clear that's yeah. not a problem what would you do if something came towards you from ahead yeah well i'd have to just use my mirrors and slow down move towards the left stop if necessary yeah yeah that's something that did we go this way on on my driving test no okay because we said that didn't we less space less speed you yeah. had a really nice one what yeah. was your say the smaller the space the slower you go yeah yeah that's it yeah. <laughs> i love that it's like poetic <laughs> All right, Poetic so here driving. is my new 20 zone starting now. Don't Everyone struggles. Yeah, definitely, but I can see that bus is in front and there's a bus stop in front, so it's kind of more hassle at the moment. Oh, uh, you're planning ahead, cool. Yeah. Would I know that as an examiner? I would probably want you to, to, to work, vocalize True, but with that. the other thing I can notice on the sat nav here as well is I'm going to be making a right turn. Oh, okay. So I'm kind Long of staying way on the down right. The road, though. True, but I'm mostly concerned about the bus because you can see there's a lady on the bus stop there. I kind of had to quickly think of that one. You, you're making up good <laughs> excuses. I'm, it's being sold to me. <laughs> All right, now just for you, Francis, I'm gonna. Whoop, whoop. Because then, are. actually, it is a 20 miles an hour limit. Yeah. This is quite a wide road. The car behind, look at that, goes straight past us, not That's doing it. 20. So if we're not in the bus lane, they might have just undertake. So with moving over for a roundabout or a turn coming up, because I'm driving 20 miles per hour, I don't really need to move over at six, 700 yards. Mm, yeah. I can move over a lot later. A lot later, because you're going slower. 700 yards. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. What she said. Yeah. 55. So now I can see my, my exit's coming up in about 200 yards. I'm just letting the black Lexus pass. And after them, I'm going to move over straight away. Because there's loads of room behind, so we don't have to push in early. Yeah. And sometimes with these tom-toms, they say cross the roundabout. They don't actually tell you where you're, whether you're going left, right, mm. straight. So you do have to look at the picture. There was also a road right sign. On the roundabout and take Exit. She said go right, but they don't always. As I'm entering, I'm just checking this left mirror because it's always a good idea to check the mirror um, as you go round the roundabout because sometimes people straight line. <laughs> Some people. Yeah. Who straight lines, Emma? <laughs> Take the exit. Somebody did that earlier. I don't remember who. I don't know who. We <laughs> won't talk about that. Okay, so now I'm going to be leaving, so I'm just using my mirrors and signal. Cool. My lane's slightly obstructed at the moment with traffic. Yep. But um, they should be gone by the time the lights go green. Are you worried about the fact that you're not in the left lane right now and you're exiting Not next? necessarily. Why not? Because on the exit, there's two lanes. Two lanes, okay, cool. And so you don't can... always need to be on the left as you exit because the lane that I started off at the beginning, it kind of naturally put me into the, the right on the exit. 
Now I'm checking the left side, the guy behind slowly moving over, but he's not that quite there yet. And you've probably got the local knowledge that this yeah. turns into a single track. Mm. Nice. That's it. Really good to have local knowledge when you're taking a driving test. It not only gives you confidence, because when the examiner says turn left, you know what's around that corner already. It's always good to be um, familiar with the area, yeah. Any tricky bits are going to be taught to you first by your instructor and not just walking into a or driving into a hamburger and getting it completely wrong <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was quite something that was funny never seen a junction like it mm. ever god the speed along here everyone struggles yeah, to keep painful. it at 20. any tips for keeping your car at 20 because i know a lot of people struggle lower with gear that. it's the same in hither green where i'm usually teaching yeah and there's a lot of 20 roads that look like they could be 30. Mm. So lower gear would definitely help you control the speed a lot better. I can see Did the thing that? about the speed bump, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't even fast. That's really bad. No, mine's not like that. The suspension feels softer than yours though, doesn't it? Yeah. Like jelly. It's like you're driving <laughs> yeah. on jelly. I think maybe if I was in a lower gear, lower speed, it wouldn't have done that as much. Okay. Or would it still been the same? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. You either have to go over the bump really fast, which really I've fast? never done, or really slurry. I didn't think that would which help. Which is what I always do. Really fast, I don't yeah, think it's a good. Like, I see what you mean, but I wouldn't advise that. No, don't do that. Don't do that don't. in your Mercedes A class. Just go over really slowly, I guess. Yeah. It's built for comfort, not racing. If you want a racing car, then you're gonna try and find a BMW or something like that. <laughs> a Mercedes is built for luxury, comfort, and smoothness, which is nice. So I'm coming to a nice, smooth, controlled stop, and the uh, road marking slightly faded but I'm going to stop before the cycle box and yeah. go straight into one. If it was raining today, that might be quite hard to see yeah. those road markings because when it's raining, the road markings aren't very visible. Yeah, but always just make sure you can definitely see the traffic light ahead of you clearly without having to lean forward because then you know you're roughly at the right spot. What would you recommend to do if this was a driving test? Could you talk to your examiner and ask what you're supposed to be doing? In like terms of direction, um, in terms of directions and stuff, you can always ask them, but um, if they just say do what's safe, then you're kind of in a lane that's already committed to going a certain way, just yeah. just follow that. Okay. But in terms of asking them questions like, oh, do I need to stop here? Is this where I stop? They're not really going to They're not going to help, you with, help you with that one. Well, they though. might say, I can't help you with that. What do you think? Because then at least you're going to know that the examiner is on your side. They know what you're thinking. Yeah. And the examiner feels safer too because you might be doing some weird stuff, but now they know why you're doing it and mm. it makes more sense and they'll feel a lot safer. The whole point is to make your examiner feel safe, right? Mm. If your I examiner doesn't feel safe, you're definitely not going to get a driving license. <laughs> so as you're driving, if you ever feel like you can't see the road markings or you don't know where you're going, the examiner would usually just say, I'd advise you to use so-and-so lane if the road marking isn't clear or if the vehicles in front are actually blocking the road markings ahead. I just briefly put on an indicator because I saw that motorbike coming up at speed to let him know that you're moving across. To make it clear, yeah. Nice touch. It's touches like that that show the examiner that you're really aware, yeah. focused, conscientious of other road users. So I'm going to use my mirrors and signal for my roundabout approach. The crossing is really important here because it's just before the roundabout. Okay. So you don't want to start looking at the roundabout too early. And not focus on someone crossing. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Going round the roundabout, counting Megs, it's nice and clear. One. And I can see island two, so I'm going to start using my mirrors. Brilliant. Signal. Amazing. And already position, positioning straight towards the exit, and here we are. And look at that steering, it was so smooth. Mm. The gear change was smooth, it wasn't jerky. The steering was smooth and you took one hand off the wheel as well and still kept it smooth. That's something that people struggle with. And if you can't drive like that, you're probably not quite ready for your driving test and you need to practice on roundabouts a little bit more, right? So with roundabouts, I always feel like sometimes uh, pupils get a little bit over over cautious with the, what's going on and then they're thinking, oh my God, I need to change gear. I need to signal, I need to do this. With that, I always say prioritize whatever's more important. Do okay. that first. And so, leave it in first gear all Yeah, the way leave around. it in first gear if you need. So as I entered, as you're going round, you'd rather focus on sort of moving off and getting going instead of thinking, oh, I need to change gear as soon as you enter. Got it, yeah. And then the, the steering round the roundabout is more important than changing gear also. It's definitely true, yeah. yeah. Why is this road 20? After They've done that miles, everywhere. Turn left, left, <laughs> everywhere turn in London, right. 20 miles per hour. This camera here goes off day in, day out. Yeah. Okay. Because people think all speed cameras are set to 30. Yeah, but no, they are definitely 20 in this area. Thanks for not getting me a speed, <laughs> speeding ticket. Cheers. All right, so I'm going left in here. That vehicle is sticking out, so I'm going to approach slow. Now I'm going to actually switch down to first because she's sticking out and the black car is on the corner. 
And here we are. It's nice are. to say this is a really narrow road. Yeah, especially with the black car here and the entrance at this big dip here. There you go. Nice and quick. Oh, that's nice a big acceleration boost. Though. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. Really good. Check out this speed bump right here. Ammon's made no attempt to slow down. Oh, so good. These are quite smooth. <laughs> that was smooth. That was smooth. Okay, so we're going to turn right in here. Rutland Road. Are we still? Where are we? South Hall. We're in South Hall now. Yeah. South Hall. Is there a North Hall? No. I don't West think, or not East around Hall? Here. No. Oh. All right. So we're going straight on. Okay. So on your driving test, this would be a prime opportunity for the examiner to pull you up on the left and say, "Drive on again." Yeah. Let's pull up on the left there anyway. Here, yeah. behind that white car. So I'm using and my mirror signal. Give you a manoeuvre. Don't worry about the driveways or anything on this occasion. Just stop about one car length away. Yeah, I've got a nice little spot here where the drive is high. So cool. I'll, I'll so this would there. be a really good spot for a pull up on the right, Ooh. a parallel park. They're not going to give you a parallel park anywhere crazy, are they? Like no. on a main road. It's going to be somewhere nice and quiet like this. Mm -hmm. So. When you're ready, I want you to move off from here, reverse park back into this position, keep it reason reasonably close to the curb, and don't finish more than two car lengths away from the car in front. It's a good thing oh, I didn't block her drive. She's knocked us right off there. Well, I'm not in her drive. She, well, should I, I'm going to reverse because she's. She's getting so close! Yeah, I'm just going to reverse it up because she is not Jeez. looking happy. Jesus, jeez Louise. It's a good thing I wasn't really in her drive, but she kind of... Uh, she wasn't happy. Wow, that's a nice house. It's a really nice that. house. Jeez. Yeah, I thought she's good. got a really nice car. It's probably the S model as well, that Audi. Yes, the S line. S line, yeah. yeah. S model. The S line. <laughs> Dave's going to watch this and <laughs> tell me all about that car. Dave, comment below. Tell me what car that is and all of the tech specs. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, okay, should we set off? Yeah. So parallel you still parking? want me to do parallel yeah, parking? Yeah, let's do it. 100%. All righty. Sorry, I was still trying to figure out what she was doing. Let me use my mirror signal, moving off into the road. Road is clear in front and behind. I'm getting parallel, nice and straight, clutches down and brake someone is in front. I'm going to check all around and I'm going to start to reverse back, looking back here, looking right, looking left. Really and good observation. As the vehicle disappears, I've steered left, the car's checking nice my slow. blind spot. When I'm at this 45 angle, I'm going to spin it the other way, do all my checks again, behind's clear. When that back tyre gets close, oh, I love that. I'm going to spin. I think I might be far out, but I'm going to try and bring it back That's in. That's a really nice bit of parking. There you go. And when the back tyre, what was that? When the back tyre gets really close, I sort of leaned up and lift my head up. In the mirror? Yeah. Okay. Nice. That's not the way I teach it, but I'm going to try this after the video yeah. and see if that works. That might be a really good one. I'll show you a reference with what I kind of do with that one. Okay. <laughs> there's always 101 different ways to do any manoeuvre. So instructors mm. teach it differently. Yeah. If your instructor teaches it differently to that, then go with whatever your instructor's yeah. teaching. But I love to find different ways of teaching manoeuvres. Yeah. And that's a really good one. That's why Clearview's a sick driving school. <laughs> Check them out. Beautiful bit of parallel parking. Thank you, Aman. Drive on when you're ready. Oh, the handbrake's beautiful in this car. As soon as I held the brake, it kind of turns off anyways. Yeah, when you hit the gas and you're at the biting point, yeah. the handbrake turns off. It's just in the wrong place though, isn't it? It's not With too it bad. With it on the right, it's It really would have been better down here because it, because, you what, know, like it feels, is in your car. feels more natural to, you know, handbrake it off. It feels more natural to you because it's that's in your <laughs> car. I still think handbrakes should be in the middle though. It's, uh, maybe it's because it's the European, it's a European car, isn't it? I think you know so what it is. So when the steering wheel's on the other side, it probably is in the middle. True, but I think it might just be the age as well, you know? The age, because it's new. Your age. My age. Because <laughs> I'm 50 and I'm used to a handbrake where I like it. <laughs> I took you a while to figure it, it out, did. you know? I was like, what? Age of what? <laughs> We're like the same age. Oh, wait, okay, funny. Oh, God. Cool. So... I tell you what, let's yeah. do this. When it's safe to do so, show me how you would demiss the rear windscreen. Yeah, that'll be down over here. Same. Yeah. So, sorry, the rear? Oh, yeah. Ah. Down one. Turn right. Great, thanks. Then go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. All right, so I'm making a right and then a left immediately after by the sound of it. Right. So, then mirrors, go left on the signal. And take the first exit. Oh, that's a really nice car. Look at that, Nissan. Mm -hmm. oh. What's your favourite car? If you didn't have to teach in it, what car would you get if you get it for free? I don't know. I'm, I want to just say something stupid like 
a Lamborghini, but... <laughs> yeah? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You like flashy sports cars? Not really. I'm, I'm really happy with like a my car, for example. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like an Audi A3. Audi A, A7s are quite nice. Oh, yes. A7s. Yes, yes. I'm a massive fan of Audi. Yeah. I did want to just get an Audi, but the only reason I got the Mercedes is because it was cheaper. Oh, okay. <laughs> and now you're regretting it because the handbook's in the wrong place. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> I'm going to wait for this guy here, but would I'm going to... Should you be checking your mirrors there, moving in yeah. and out of those passing places? Yeah, definitely. Were well, you checking your mirrors? I don't think I did on that encounter, no. Yeah. But I just made the left turn, and I think I did have a look in the top mirror at least, so I kind of okay. knew what's behind me. Should we let her off that one, then? Because she looked in the top mirror and As long as you're me. keeping regular checks in your mirrors, if you do miss the odd occasion where you didn't check the sides, yeah. it's okay. It Is wouldn't it? necessarily go down as a serious. Guys, comment below. Because if you've been regularly okay? checking, and I knew there was no motorbikes and nobody behind me, really. Is it scraping at the base? Well, like, yeah, yes, yeah, it is. See, I'm it so is. sorry. It's all right. I always say it's fine because... It is so... I'm going to go it's like this not my car. to help you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had that where people go over speed bumps so badly sometimes? Yeah, definitely. And they scrape the bottom and they're like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, don't worry about it. This is my tool, it is for teaching. And if I was a builder and I lent you my drill, I wouldn't be annoyed if you scratched or blunted a bit, a drill bit, because mm. it's a work tool. This is a work tool, it's not my pride and joy. <laughs> it doesn't have a name like Frank. It's true, isn't it? You've heard in stories of instructors who get really angry or aggy about I don't know, bad driving or shatter their students. I'm just oh, yeah, not no, that kind no, of person. No. It's not, I'm not that style of, of teacher. And I really recommend that if you do have that style of teacher, it's not okay. No, definitely Try and find not. a more calm, relaxed person that's gonna make you feel good about, good about driving yeah. and okay about making mistakes because it is a learning definitely. environment. We are allowed to make mistakes. We don't learn without making mistakes. I think you learn from your mistakes as always or learn from other people's mistakes. Like even when somebody watches the videos, they kind yep. of learn from other people okay. on these roundabouts or junctions. Definitely. And I think that's why they kind of want to watch more mock tests or lesson videos even. Driving right. lesson videos? Yeah. Do you do driving lesson videos on Clearview Driving School? Yeah. <laughs> I'm checking the right side. There have been nice. no motorbikes behind for a Nicely done. this whole test actually. It's pretty all right. What kind of things do you cover on driving lessons on your channel? Um, well, from complete beginner up until yards, test really, so a variety of things. So you've got crossroads, second, uphill then, moving off, meeting left. situations, something that people like to definitely learn a lot about. Meeting situations yeah. are hard. Yeah. And it might be good to watch it on videos as well, because it's really hard to find certain situations or get into into certain meeting situations. It's not something Cross you can set up, you just have to walk mm. into it. Yeah. Take the second left. There you go. Slowing down, nice looking speed. good. Nice speed, good observation. There was a purposeful right look there. Mm. So on your test, that's quite important. Because your examiner, if they don't see it, it didn't happen, basically. So you might think, oh, I, I did look there. Yeah, you don't want to just look from the corner of your no eye. No way, no yards. way. It's very Turn easy left. to miss motorbikes and cyclists. So that is going to get a right indicator on for the bus driver, mister. Really? And I'm making a I teach people not to do that. It's just because that bus driver was right there and I could see that he may move up as the bus stop was empty itself. Oh, we've reached like our destination time. on our left. Are you yes. getting us lost, Aaron? No, remember, we've just, what? this was our... Oh, what's this? <laughs> test centre. Is it? Which one? <laughs> Southall. Southall Test Centre. Yes. This looks like such a residential environment. Okay. Yeah, yeah just, just stop in. on the left in a safe place. Ta. Oh, we are. Real close to that Mercedes. I know, but the road's really narrow. Okay. So if I didn't stop like this... Mm -hmm. I'm about to issue a licence. Let's see how the rest goes. Drive on when you're ready. All right, let's do this. Done my there checks. There we go, a six-point check, not a three-point check. Did the car do, stop? Do, oh, do, you didn't do, expect do, that, do. did you? you it's because I, I was holding the brake. Okay. Because as soon as you hold the brake, it starts to um, come off, isn't it? When you... Does it? When yeah. you press the gas, no? Or you were on the I brake? Was, I was on the brake. Okay. I noticed that when we moved off the last time as well. Turn right. See, there's a few things you don't even know yet. No, I need someone to teach me how to use this car properly. Mm. Any offers? Anyone that's got <laughs> this car as well? It's so funny that we've got the same car. It's one of those junctions where you have to look back and forth, but the good thing is there, was, there weren't too many cars. Wow, houses no. around here are nice. Where are we now? <laughs> We're in South, South still. Hall still. 
Now this junction can be really tricky because there's parked cars. Now after this guy, I'm going to go up Would to the cycle the lane. Yeah, definitely. Now I can see the rights clear, so I don't I'm know edging why I'm forward. You can and drive I am perfectly well. out. One, two, three. Da, da, da. Do you do that when you're in the passenger seat with other people? You're like, oh, oh. Yeah. Even though you know they can drive. I mean, and then I sit back. I'm like, what am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> after 300 yards, turn left, then turn right. What she said. Mm -hmm. Do people find it difficult to drive with you in the car? Do your mates say no. like, oh, stop looking. I think no, when I'm with my friends, I switch you. off. Yeah, definitely. But they think that you're looking and assessing them and judging them because you're a driving instructor. Do you get that ever? Yeah, no, they do think that I'm, I'm kind of observing over them. But most times if I'm with my friends, I'll switch off. Now, I'm not actually going to do this turn because that turn's blocked off in the distance. Okay. Turn so I'm going to have to just go up to the roundabout. Turn right. Cool. Roundabout's much more difficult. Come on. Yeah. We're going to get a fail out of our man for sure. Are we going to get a fail? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Definitely not. So this is going to be the polar opposite to my driving test. So on my driving test, I did fail, but I failed on purpose. Oh, ladies. Because that's more interesting than um, passing. Would you say you failed on purpose, yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. 100%. Oh, okay. Definitely. What, with the three potential series? The three serious faults, yeah. I definitely did them on purpose, because that's more interesting. <laughs> All right, we're going to be making a left. Here we are. I'm going slowly exit. into position. I can see that guy is not moving, so there's no point of me approaching any faster. Oh, that's close. Do you know what? You've done that about four times now. <laughs> that might be enough to get a fail out of you. Really? I could yeah, see his back bumper. I could see his sensors. Not the tyres or the tarmac. Definitely not. I know, I know. That's how you drive normally, isn't it? That's you on, yeah. on autopilot. That's it. Not you on driving test mode. <laughs> Alright, so we are back to the left lane. Oh, is it going to split into two 20. lanes next? Yeah, you can see it splits again. you've got the local knowledge. It's quite nice around here. Mm. What's the test centre that you use most? Well, Yedding or um, Southall. Yedding or Southall. Then there's Isworth as well. That's a really popular one. What areas do you teach in then? Um, just around west, that's it. So Ealing, Chiswick, Hammersmith is the main yards, base. Turn left. Okay. Now I'm going to slow down. Now Francis wants to leave at tyres and tarmac which I'm going to leave so Beautiful. there we are. Very nice. Still a bit close huh, man? Come I can definitely see his tyres and tarmac. What, if you do that? I think I'm a little bit taller than you. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. I'm gonna go home and cry. I'm 50 years old, really short. <laughs> All right so we're going to be making a left mirrors signal. Turn left. Now the vehicle in front may try and turn before me because I've got a bit of a gap but be but prepared. You'll be ready for it. Yeah, Just be, be prepared ready for it. in case. And then the lady is waiting. Oh, uh, yeah, we're nearly back in the test center now. Right? Mm. Cool. Another so you're going to be thinking now, oh, I wonder if I passed my driving test. I wonder if I failed my driving test. Another thing recently is because the tests are quite short at the moment, generally, and if you make a mistake, they kind of bring you back early. Sometimes when you feel like you're coming back to the test centre too early, people start to give up thinking, oh, I'm probably failed. Yes, definitely. But you just need to stay calm and just keep going. Don't stay think. Focused yeah, stay focused. Never assume that you failed. That's it. Because there's been a few times where people think that they failed earlier on, but they haven't. Yes. And now because they've given because up. Because they give up, you start making mistakes, you're not yeah. concentrating anymore. Now that biker, oh, there he's going for it. Let's break a little. Ah, oh, there we go. That's what we're waiting for, 30 miles an hour. Yes. But again, you can't really go 30, especially not with that hazard in the road. I'm going to slow down for the lady. Switch back down. She's opening the Might door. Might have to even wait for this one. Definitely, yeah, not with that door open. Not that I'm helping you with the driving test. <laughs> So many long straight roads. This is not yards, as hard as driving in Hither Green at all. What is it, I just want to get you to come down to Hither Green. Yeah, it's just so easy. I'm going to get you to come down to Hither Green and you're going to, to drive around Hither Green and you're going to be like, Jesus, how do people pass here? <laughs> Whip restrictors, there's 50 mile an hour dual carriageways, oh, slip wow. roads, very narrow residential streets. It's so different to here. Which I guess is a good uh, message or teaching point for you guys. It really does matter where you book your driving test. Mm. So if you were used to Hiver Green, it would be difficult to drive here. If you were used to here, it would be difficult to pass in Hiver Green. I yeah. know it takes a long time to book driving tests right now, guys, but you have to book a test where you can drive. 
I did a mock test yesterday with uh, a lady who booked her test at Hibbergreen. Yeah. She's not from anywhere near Hibbergreen. Helped her out, showed her the area, but if I didn't, she'd be really finding it tricky. There's some hard stuff there. Yeah, you always need to get used to the area of the test centre, even if you know how to drive perfectly. The amount of times, like, have you noticed this as well, when it comes to experienced drivers, yeah. like, with an international license even, and then they have to do a test here, and they're like, no, 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 I've driven here, there, and everywhere. I just want one lesson. Yeah, and, <laughs> and then, then I've got my they test. drive, and the one, the basics, they wouldn't even be checking their blind spot, got it, yeah. the mirror checks, they're looking at cars, but they're still moving in front of them. 100%. And that's, um, that's one of the reasons why people fail. Because they're they too kind confident, of, yeah. especially the guys from abroad, because you're taught differently to how we drive here, especially how you're supposed to drive on a driving test, it's completely different. Mm. What about Americans? Americans are nice drivers, but they're not used to England. Yeah, I see them constantly just kind of checking their blind spots rather than checking the mirrors even. Blind spots you can check, but you don't want to rely straight on your blind spot for changing lanes because you can suddenly steer off. I taught an American how to drive once and she said something really interesting. Yeah. She said, man, you guys oh, have... I, don't, I won't do the accent. She said, guys, you have so many signs. Why don't you just put all of the signs onto one small sign or onto one oh, big God. sign because then it's in one place you don't have to look around for so many signs and it's true it does make sense like driving in england there are signs absolutely everywhere and it would make sense to consolidate them ah back at starbucks <laughs> here we are turn right then turn right all right now i'm going to be turning back into the center so i'm turn trying right, to oh, lady then, don't do turn it. left you can have a refreshing cup of coffee left, at Starbucks right, any time left. of day. And here we are. We're going for that sponsorship, aren't we? Yes, we yeah. are. Cool. I need my free morning life coffee. Is all about free coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're just coming into the centre, aren't we? Turn left. Then cool, let's drive in and have a look. Yeah, right. definitely. Francis we'll wants up. to be told off. I don't mind being told off, I've been told off a lot videoing different test centres. So let's park up on the left in a safe bay and I'll give you the results of your driving test. Are you going to reverse in? Okay, cool. Yeah. Test station, Yedding. Test station, that sounds so grand. Not even test centre. They do lorry tests here. What other tests do they do here? They do motorbike um, tests? No, not here. Not no, motorbikes. Just lorry and cars? Yeah. Okay, cool. It's got nice facilities as well. Some test centres don't have very nice facilities, but the toilets in there are tip-top. <laughs> okay, great. That was really nice. Yeah. Well done. Really nice drive. <laughs> but? But you were quite close to other vehicles quite yeah. a lot of times, but I can't really think of any other faults. Maybe a little bit quick on the first roundabout. Debatable. With the, with that, the van, with yeah. With the van, yeah. Debatable if that was a pass or fail. Guys, I'm going to leave it up to you. Put that in the comments. I don't mind if that was a fail. It's All okay. All right, let's say that's a, that's a fail. Yeah. Aman from Clearview Driving School Checker Out has failed her <laughs> driving test on driving school TV. I'd say, I'd say leave it up to them to debate whose test was okay. better. Whose, whose test was better, <laughs> yes. Put it in the comments, interact in the comments. You can have a debate yourselves and we'll jump in and be in the comments as well and comment back with you guys. Thank you very much for coming to see us or me coming to see you. Thanks for having for us the in, win. in Yedding. Huh? Team Clearview for the win. Team Clearview for, for the win. Team Driving School TV for the win. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me in, up in Yedding. No, Come and see us again in Hiver Green and we'll have round two of the instructor off. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. That'd be nice. Cool. Put it'll it in be... the comments, guys. If you want to see another instructor off round two. It'd be good to drive around in an area where I'm not familiar. I'm, I'm pretty sure I would probably fail because <laughs> there's always like little hidden junctions here and there that if you've not practiced in the area, you may get caught off guard. And that's, that's kind of what happened with you a little bit. Yeah, yeah, let's go Especially with that. Especially with a burger roundabout. The burger roundabout was awful. <laughs> <laughs> you did not expect I that. I was not expecting that. I was not ready for that kind of junction. And you've I've been driving seen. for how long? What, like 42? 42. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, that was... <laughs> Burn. Before I get mugged <laughs> off anyway, Aman, thank you very much. And guys, catch you in the next video. Peace.